Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, this is the very first episode in this new series, in this new playlist, uh, all about Premiere Pro 2022. So I'm going to get started immediately. Uh, let's open up Premiere Pro. Now, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, I'll try to go through all, all, all the different shortcuts for this particular software. Uh, but I'm going to start with uh, hitting Command Space. If you hit the Command Space on a Macintosh, it brings open the Spotlight Search. Now, you also have this little search icon up there that will do the exact same thing. If you click on that, it brings open your Spotlight Search as well. Uh, you can type in Premiere if you have it installed, and it will pop up on your list, and you can hit Enter to start it. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, uh, you can hit the Start key, and then you can just immediately type in Premiere, and it should bring it up, and then you can select it with your arrow keys up and down and hit Enter or Return, and it will load the software. Now, if you've been using Premiere Pro, this is the splash screen here. And what's going to show on the splash screen is uh, a couple different items here. You have new project, open project, and down here, if you have open projects and been editing projects, you will have recently uh, used projects. If you have a hard drive plugged in, you're editing from that hard drive rather than from your computer's hard drive, and that hard drive has been pulled out, when you open up Premiere, these projects will not show up because it will not detect the, uh, the location of those projects. This, and this screen here is what they call your home screen. So if you click on Learn, there's some pages that they have some videos with, especially when they come out with new features. This is really cool to actually click on some of these and just watch them quick. This will open up your default internet browser and will show you tutorials on, uh, on uh, certain features you can find in Premiere Pro. In a future episode, I will be covering team projects and how to work with team projects and, and Premiere Pro Rush projects as well. Uh, but right now, we're just going to go through the basic projects, which is your new project or open project. So let me go to home again. And uh, if, if, you can, if you've been working on a project down here under recent projects, you can click on those and it will just load it and pop it open. And there's your, and that, there's your project that you've been working on right there. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to right click on this project tab and say close project. It'll take us back to the splash screen because now my projects are closed. So if you click open project, it'll take you to your browser, whether you're on Windows or Mac, it'll take you to your finder or to your browser or to your explorer. And that, then you can navigate through the pro, uh, files. You can find a file that you're looking for. There's the Premiere Pro, Pro project, the file that I want to open up. And you can just double click on it or hit open and it will open that specific project. Now I have that project open. So let's close that, right click and hit close project. And then now, and now notice it has added that one to my recent projects there. So that now that's added to my recent project. I notice that that has been now added to my recent projects. Now, if you're doing a new project, we're going to hit new project here. And this is kind of a new look for the new project uh, window here that has been added to 2022 recently. So under new project, what you've got up here is the place that you name. Up here, you'll find what your new project name is going to be. I'm going to call that new project. I know that's not the name that I normally name it, but that's just, I just that, that's where you put the name right there. Then you're going to go to your project location. You can choose a recent location in this little window right here, or you can hit choose location for a new location. And then I can do a new folder and call this project new project, just the same thing, but come up with your own name for the project name. Hit create, and now that location has been chosen for that project file. And this usually is where I'm going to be putting all my media. I'm going to put all my media under this new project file, and I'm going to be importing media from that. So now I'm going to hit Choose. It's got that new location. It's got the name of the project. And now you can hit Create, and it would create the project. Now right now, they've also got this new feature where you can tell what media to import upon the creation of the project. So if I go to my, here's my hard drive right here that I'm using. Then you can go to a folder where you find me find media. Now if I've got this media, if I've got this folder here, now this folder here, what I've already done is I've already, uh, this is a folder on my regular hard drive here. And under this folder, I've got a bunch of media. I've got some video, I've got some sound effects, I've got a movie file, I've got a PDF, I've got the media that I want to import. I don't want the PDF, but, I, but everything has been put into that folder. So what I can do is I can just check mark that folder, and now I can hit create. It'll search through those folders and find the media that it can use and import it into your new project. Notice it ignored uh, the PDF. It just brought in the media that it can use. And what it's done down here, this is something uh, which might be kind of useful. I haven't really found out a, a use for it yet, but they, but it has imported all my media and it has created a sequence for me, a timeline. It's got all my media in here. It's created a timeline. And down here, it's got the timeline. So you can start uh, fit, going through your footage and looking at, at the footage that it, that it has brought in. But the other way of doing that is just starting a new project, typing in the name, typing in the, or, and choosing the location, and just hit create, and then just hit create. And then what it will do is it will just open up this brand new project. It'll let you import the media here, and you can create your own timeline based on the set settings that you want, and then you can start editing. 
And one last thing that's very important is kind of remembering where you saved your project. Because sometimes if you move computers, if you save it on your desktop, if you save it, if, if you do not consciously save your project in a specific location, um, it automatically does it in a deep, dark Adobe folder where it's really difficult to find. So what you need to do is, uh, first of all, when you create a project, make sure you intentionally save it into a location that you know where it's at so you can find it easily later. But if you can't remember where you saved it and you open it up as like a recent project or something like that, like that you can actually go up to the top of the uh, top of the tab here where it says the name of the project. This is the name of the project right here, Project New Project. That's the name of the project. I named it New Project very clever but I go over to this little area right here right where it says new project if you bring your mouse up and just hover over this it will pop up and show you the location where that project file is saved so if you're having trouble finding it if you need to move to a different computer uh, if you need to move to a different computer and you don't know where your project file has been saved or or where it's located, you once again, you just hover over that and it shows the location right there. It shows it's on my drive called Cromulent New Project and then there's the new project file right there. And that, that is where your project file is saved. And that is the physical location, the hard drive and the, phys and, and the, folder, and the folder structure where that project file can be found. In the next episode, we will get into the Premiere Pro preferences and settings.